Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. For Easter 2024. We are at the Easter Parade 2024. Happy Easter! Tell us what you're wearing. 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 My name is Mariah Gramet and I'm from New York City. Loving the outfit. So number one, happy Easter. Happy Easter. What are you up to right now? We are at the incredible Fifth Avenue Easter Bonnet Parade in Manhattan. And the incredible outfit to Thank match, you. right? Nothing screams spring to me more than pink. And so I really went over the top with a pink outfit. Uh, uh, my friend Jennifer is actually a milliner here in New York City and she yay. made this hat. So I, I picked the hat to work with the, the rest of the colors. But I guess the, the spring colors were my main inspiration behind today. I love it. All right. So let's break it down. So you already mentioned the hat. Yes, my hat is by Jennifer yep. Roulette. The glasses are Prada. Yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. The color sort of goes, it yeah? goes, it goes. All right, the dress, where's that from? Uh, this, my dress is from a brand called Hermosa. Yay. The bag? My bag is Jane McLaughlin. And then lastly? My shoes are Cole Haan. Yeah. Practical shoes. <laughs> yeah. And then let's talk about some of the jewelry, yeah? Okay. Uh, my uh, bracelet is Hermes. My ring is Damn. from my fiance. <laughs> you did a great job, Thank yeah? You. And where are the hoops? Uh, earrings are from Saks. Cute. Yeah. All right. Simple but effective outfit. Perfect for spring. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of one to ten, pink is how do you favorite. rate today's look? Oh. I think pink is my favorite color and I feel best in it, so I'm gonna say nine out of ten. I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And before I let you go, and for everybody who wants to see the other outfits, right? Yeah. Share that Instagram. My Instagram is at old soul etiquette. I'm an etiquette coach. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good one. Happy Easter. My name is Lena DeFlores and I live in Houston, Texas. Love the outfit today, yeah? Thank you. Tell us where we are. Oh, we are in Manhattan, New York City for Easter 2024. And you came dressed for it, yeah? I did what I could. <laughs> you look so good. Thank you. Tell us what's the inspiration behind today's look. Well, it's Easter, so I went as bright and floral as I could. Let's break the fit down. Where's the hat from? All right, so this hat I've had for several years and I put about $100 worth of flowers from the craft store on it. Awesome. And then the dress. The dress is the pretty dress company over the pond from London. So cute, yeah? The kicks. Ah, uh, the kicks are also from a vintage shop here in the States. And then the fur the is fur actual shawl. true vintage, uh -huh. as is the bag. Again, more stuff from the craft store. And the parasol is vintage too. So cute. So, since it's Easter, so number one, happy Easter, happy right? Happy Easter! And Easter is known for new beginnings. Yes. What new beginnings are you looking forward to? I am looking to bring a lot more smiles and joy, not only to my life, but everyone around me as well. There you go. Not only beauty, but kindness as well, oh, right? Thank you. <laughs> Let's rate the fit. On okay. a scale of one to 10, how would you rate today's look? I'm gonna give myself an eight because I forgot a hat pin and I may be a little over accessorized. <laughs> I disagree, but it's okay. <laughs> so before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Oh, at Lena DeFlorius. Love the look today, yeah? Thank so, you. tell everybody where we are. We're outside of St. Patrick's Cathedral for the Easter parade. Thank you. So, are you sure dressed up for it, yeah? <laughs> you look so good. Before we get into the outfit, right? Can you tell me what the inspiration behind today's look is? Um, I wanted to just be very spring looking, but still warm. You're killing it right now. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's talk about the outfit, yeah? Let's start off with the parade. Where's that from? Um, it's from the 30s. It was hand knit. Um, yeah. Same with the dress and the matching bag. Wow. Um, Where did you get this from? This, uh, someone on Etsy. I don't remember. Okay. The name. And then where the shoes from? Um, it's a repro brand called Memory Shoes. It's a great repo, yeah. Yeah, it's like the best. It's the most accurate. Yeah, and um, it goes perfectly with the gloves. Where are those from? Uh, also on Etsy. I can't remember the okay. seller. And we can't forget the shades, right? These are also on Etsy. I just <laughs> buy most things online. So since it's Easter, and Easter is known for new beginnings, what is something new you're looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to meeting new friends, like okay. especially people that were vintage. Yeah. So everybody hit her up, right? And that's a perfect segue. So before I let you go, let's rate the fit, right? On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate today's look? Um, I think an eight or a nine. All right, thank you really so like much. <laughs> and for all those new friends, right? Share your Instagram with me. Uh, it's Caroline in Vintage. 
Louis Gallen and I'm from Puerto Rico. Love the all black ensemble, yeah? So we're at the East of Parade, right? Everybody is here with like bright colors and pastels and you got the all black. What's the inspiration behind today? I wanted to do something that is normally not me. I normally wear a lot of bright colors, a lot of cheery colors, and I just wanted to concentrate on one color with a lot of different textures. I love it. And you're actually pulling it off, actually, right? It's a little whimsical with the hat, right? Yeah, I thought I'd have fun. So, what is it about the color black today, especially, which is like the opposite, right? That's really telling you to put it on. Black is comprised of all the colors in the color wheel. So in essence, I am wearing all the colors. In the there color. you go. So let's break down the outfit. Where's the hat from? The hat was from some vendor uh, on the street in Soho. Okay. This lovely overcoat. Martin Magella. Woo! All right. The shirt under. And the Mule Mista. Woo! Look at you. You're stacked. The pants. Rick Owens. And then the shoes, of course. Lift it up. Martin Magella. I love it all. Let's rate the fit. On the scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Oh my God, um, I would say maybe an eight and a half. Thank you so much. And before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. I'm not on Instagram. All right, thank you so much, I appreciate Jeez. it. I'm Dandy Dillinger and I'm from New York City. Love the outfit today, right? So Easter, everybody's they're known for like the pastels and the bright colors, right? What's with the black and white? I want it to be different. Um, I'm doing a little play on 30s Grecian. Uh, I love it. Yeah. All right, so let's break it down. The hat, did you make the it? The hat, I made it. Ooh, how long did this take? Um, not that long, actually. I make a lot of headdresses. <laughs> <laughs> the shades. The shades, the gloves, and the rest of the polka dots are all Amazon. Okay. <laughs> what about the velvet shawl? This is a vintage 60s velvet. Love that. And did you add this piece, too? Um, I did. I added this as well. Amazing. And this and is a I little got bag. My... Do -do 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 <laughs> Love the look. Yeah. Let's rate the fit. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? I mean, I think I'm giving 10. I agree. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate that. Before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. It's uh, Dandy Dillinger. Lily, and I'm from New York. You look so good today. Thank you. <laughs> so, tell everybody where we are. We are at the Easter Parade 2024. And then you bought the pastel pink, right? <laughs> we got it all. So, before we jump into the outfit, yeah. tell us what's the inspiration behind it. Uh, I love woodland animals, love Easter, love pastel, and I want to be a princess this year. You're killing it. Thank you. So, let's break the fit down. Yeah. The headpiece, did you make this? Um, Amazon made it. <laughs> and then is this one piece right here? Is this one piece? Okay. Love it. And where'd you get it from? Amazon. <laughs> but the shoes the are shoes? free people. I love it. All right. And the accessories, earrings? J. Crew. Okay. And then candy for all the kitties, right? Yes, we got candy. <laughs> love it. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? I mean, I'm feeling a 10. I agree with you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Lily Crow with two O's. Peppy Pete, Gotham Galleria. Happy Easter, y'all. This is the quick fit check for y'all today. So, two piece J. Crew Madras, Main USA Gap. Ralph Lauren on the tie and good old Jack P's on the feet and of course vintage Phillies hat I rate this fit 7.5 out of 10 Happy Easter y'all I'm Joanna Carpenter and I am from New York City. So my inspiration is actually my maternal grandmother who was a designer and a seamstress um, and she made this. She made she it? She made this suit by hand for herself. Uh, I think she made this in 1966, 67. So did you have to make any alterations to make it fit no. for you? No, no. Literally just right out, right out of the closet. It's meant for you, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. Where are the shades from? The shades are from Canal Street in Chinatown. <laughs> I spent 
five dollars on these babies. Vendors, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So the yes, two yes, piece you already yeah. said. Yeah. The neck candy is actually my friend uh, Darlene, who is our ringleader. Uh, this is uh, her grandmother's necklace. Oh wow! So we've Look got, at you. We've got yeah. Grandma legacy. Okay. okay. The, the shirt on there. Shirt. Um. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> what about the gloves? The gloves? Also, I got these from BQ Trim, which is a lovely um, independent uh, like trim store. These are from the 60s. I got these at a thrift shop in East Village. Okay, and the little bag. A little bag also from the same store, also from the 60s. Love it. Thrift shop in the East Village, yeah. So, since it's Easter, yes. and it's known for new beginnings, mm -hmm. what new beginnings are you looking forward to? Welcoming possibility instead of scarcity. There you go. Let's read the fit. On a yes, scale of 1 to 10, yes. how would you rate today's look? Oh, she's an 11. This Ooh. is Legacy Outfit. Legacy there Outfit. You go. Yes. And for everybody that want to see your other fits, right? Share your Instagram with me. Uh, it's the Joanna C. My name is Yasel Ayala, and I'm from New York. Tell everybody where we are. Uh, we are at the Easter Parade in New York City 2024. Okay, and then... You came with the fit. I did. What's I the inspiration arrived. behind today's look? Uh, this is a vintage dress I got off of Etsy. So this is like a late 50s, early 60s. Um, the hat is vintage from the Manhattan Vintage Show. Okay. It's a vintage coat off of eBay. What about the corsage? This is a vintage 1940s uh, corsage. Oh, is it, is it silk? Yeah, uh, it's like silk, velvet, flowers, okay. all vintage all right. flowers. Kicks? Uh, these are new. These are a newer brand. My friend Ashton has like the same ones in black. It goes perfect right with the bag. Where's the bag Right, from? and the bag is Kate Spade. Cute, I love it. Gloves vintage. Love it. So I love the outfit, but what I love the most is the use of accessories. Yeah? Thank you. So Thank the, you. let's start off with the earrings. Um, the earrings are vintage. I got them at like a little antique store in Maryland. Okay, the neck candy? This is a vintage necklace as well. Okay. And this bracelet is a new Swarovski. There you go. And then the ring? Uh, so this center one is my engagement ring, and this is a vintage uh, ring. This is an estate ring. Yep. And then the two on the opposite end they are newer off there of Etsy. Yeah. Little cherry on top. Yeah, right? yeah. I love mixing old and new. Easter is known for new beginnings, right? Yes. What new beginnings are you looking forward to? I'm actually looking forward to a career change and a, and a relocation. There you go. Yeah. So fingers crossed for that. But let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? She is a 10. Then before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. I am at the designer geek. Hi, my name is Annabelle. I'm originally from New York City, but I live in New Orleans. Love it. Southern Belle today, right? Southern Belle via New York City. So, before we jump into the fit, tell us what's the inspiration behind it. During the pandemic, one of my skills acquired was flower making. And so I made all of these flowers to go with the fit to a fruit theme. So we've got blueberries and baskets of fruit as well. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's break down the outfit. Yeah. The hat is original 1940s as well as the suit. Uh, and I just embellished it with the flowers okay. as well. I got this, this I'm assuming this is a vintage neckerchief, mm -hmm. yeah? Also 1940s, it has lovely ladies' faces all over it. I love it. And, and you have a shirt on there, and I love the color of it. Yes, and the, the, the cuffs are, this is House of Foxy, which is a UK brand, and they do lovely reproductions of 1940s attire. Love that, and then the kicks. The kicks are actually dance shoes. I'm also a swing dancer, and I want it to be comfortable as well as cute today. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? I mean, could I give myself anything but a 10? All right. <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy and Easter. And before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Uh, it is Annabelle underscore swell. Uh, my name is Alana Benneroff, and I'm from Brooklyn. I'm Sean Carlson, and I'm from New York. You guys look so good. So we're at the Easter yeah. Parade 2024, and you guys sure dressed up for it, right? Yeah. So tell me what's the inspiration behind today's outfit. Um, I just wanted to go for a light, flowery kind of welcome to spring look. So you totally pulling yeah. it off, yeah? Thank you. And I know this gentleman, <laughs> and this guy is the vintage king, right? So what's the inspiration behind the outfit today? Uh, you know. A little bit of 50s, 40s. Yeah, yep. just something, you know, light, airy that I can move in. Yup. Yeah. A little minty, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the outfit. Let's break it down. Where's the headpiece okay. from? Headpiece is from the 40s. Floral. Um, the dress is 
30s and then I made a slip to go under it because okay. that was missing. And then 60s jacket okay. and 50s bag. And then the kicks? Um, these are my dad's. They're just from the 90s. It works so well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Move over to you, the hat. Hey, hat, actually 70s. Okay. Suit is 40s, shirt and tire 50s, and then shoes are 50s as well. This guy's like walking history right here, right? <laughs> Let's rate the yeah. fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your look today? Probably give myself like an eight. All right. Yeah. Seven. All right. <laughs> so before I let y'all go, share that Instagram with me. Um, it's Alana's Aesthetic. And mine is Sean underscore Carlson. Yeah. Have a great one, guys. Happy Thank Easter. You. Peace. Happy Easter. My name's Fiona White. Uh, I'm from Boston slash South, Southern California. I love the outfit today, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, during like Easter, yes. people really like, bring the pastels, right? Yes. But you bought the tan, right? Yes. So what's the inspiration behind today's look? So I started with the hat. I'm actually a milliner and I made oh, it myself. Oh, awesome. Um, it's an inspiration from old photo with Elizabeth Taylor, where it was a basket hat and I wanted to make my own. Um, after that, I have had this vintage coat for a very long time in my closet. Okay. So I actually incorporated a little tan into the hat so I could wear her today. Love that. And then the brooch? Uh, the brooch is just um, from Salma Gundy in Boston. I've had it for a very long time. It's just all from my closet just to go with my hat. Love it. Do you have a, a white dress on there? I do. It's just a basic little number just to have a little white out of the bottom to match my love hat. Love it. And then the shoes? Um, the shoes are from a vintage shop from a very long time ago. Love it. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I can't forget the gloves, right? Oh, yes. They're just from Amazon. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? I would say 9 because I love my look today, but I always got next year too. Alright. <laughs> See you next year. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> Before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Uh, Fiona White. Claire Coquette from Brooklyn, New York. Love the outfit, yeah? Not very Easter, I must say. Yeah? It's like a little disco -y, yeah. <laughs> I love it though. So, before we start getting into the outfit, tell us the inspiration behind today's look. Um, I got this little hat about five years ago and I'm just trying to find an outfit that went with it okay. <laughs> for the last five so, years. So, the five years in the making. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So, let's break it down. Where's the hat from? Uh, Playthings Vintage in LA. Okay, the neck can. Um, eBay. All the jewelry is from eBay. Even the, even the bananas? Yeah. <laughs> I love those. It's like a little oh, coat. Um, this is Fiddle Girl Vintage. The polka dot number? Uh, I found this at the Salvation Army like 20 years ago. Ooh, <laughs> still look at have you. it. And then the kicks? Um, Chelsea Crew. Thank you so much. So, let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? How would you rate it, sir? 10, baby. There you go. <laughs> and before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. At Clara Coquette. Thank you so much. I'm Joshua. I live here in Brooklyn. All right. And I'm Marissa, also here in Brooklyn. You guys killed the outfit today, yeah? So, what's the inspiration behind today's outfit? Yeah, uh, late 1930s, early 1940s. This is all true vintage. Right. All right. Um, I love pattern matching. I love the way that they have a novelty print in the 30s and are able to source multiple colors from it. So that's really what kind of inspires me. Okay. Um, and also florals for spring. Yeah, I know absolutely. it's revolutionary, but <laughs> here we are. And then you, sir? Yeah, also 1930s, like a typical morning dress. I'm just trying to look the part, you know? Okay. So, a little bit off the cuff, right? How did you guys get into vintage? Because you guys are like deep, deep into it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, um, for me, it started actually in the 50s. Um, I used to be into mod cloth, like repro. That was my gateway drug, okay. I like to say. Um, but then I discovered like that these articles of history still exist yep. and are accessible. And, you know, I really have started collecting vintage because for me, it's like continuing on a piece of history in a really 
meaningful way. I am just like the next steward of all of there these There you go, places. and like giving them a new life, right, yeah. sir? Yeah, absolutely. There you go, so let's break it down. Let's start off with the top hat. Where's that from? So top hat is probably about 1900. It's a little older than the rest of the uh, rest of the ensemble. Okay. Uh, morning coat, probably 1920s. Um, I put a bunch of work into it myself to get it up to wearability right. again. Um, the double-breasted waistcoat uh, might be a little later, but it totally looks the part. It does. Um, the ascot, um, enameled Edwardian pin. Uh -huh. um, the collar as well, the wingtip collar. Really typical morning trousers with the stripes on them. Yep. Spats, and then some black shoes. Love other it. Shoes. What, what kind of camera is that? Oh, uh, also some other pearl um, cufflinks. Awesome. And then this is a Valenda 620. It's from the 30s, roughly. It was actually her great-grandfather's. Um, and then I restored it and got it back up to working order. Yeah, so we're working out today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then let's break yours down. Let's start off with the hat. Yeah, no, so Fascinator, this is like kind of faux millinery, but probably I would say 40s, um, maybe late 30s. Okay. Um, then we've got, this is kind of the middle the middle piece, which I would say late 30s to again early 40s, um, with this lovely lavender accent detail. Uh, the cape, definitely 40s. Um, I love myself I love a little it, 40s yeah. cape. Okay. Um, you know, especially a long cape like this where you've got these arm slits. Yep. Um, Bakelite bracelets here um, that pick up some of the bits of the print. Uh -huh. uh, this is probably a little earlier. I would say this is probably hand crocheted from like the 20, I'd say late yep, 20s. 20, 20, 20. Yeah, 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 100% 1920s. Um, and then these are repro, but they are meant to mimic. They they work perfectly. So, so let's rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? I'm about an eight and a half, maybe a nine. There's a little bit of room for improvement, but right. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I would say probably eight, eight point eight five. I like to leave myself some room for improvement too. But uh... thank you so much. <laughs> before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Uh, yeah, I'm at Scholar Moose on Instagram. I'm Critical Kitten. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy Easter, guys. Thanks so much. You too. My name is Dandy Wellington, Harlem, New York City, there and I. Harlem well. You know, I'm doing what I'm doing. Harlem is known for their fashion, their style, hey. and of course, <laughs> the smoothness. The right? music! Hey. And then the squad is I mean, you. listen, this is this is New York, baby. So I gotta York. wish everybody happy Easter. Yes! Yes, indeed. Happy Easter! There you go. That's a cool And then. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. tell us the inspiration behind today's look. Uh, I mean, it's uh, vintage joy and happiness, keeping it vintage but also keeping it modern, you know, man? We gotta yeah. look back, but then we also gotta move forward. There That's you how it go. Is. Let's break it down. Yeah. The hat, where's the hat? The hat is Cordova, custom made for me, a great guy in Florida. John Cordova, he knows what he's doing. There you go. This right here, designed by myself. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, Tattersall. This is from Cathcart, England. Ooh. Little situation it's modern but we keep it feeling vintage there you go these shoes designed by myself my brand Harlemology I love that as always and that's it man there you go let's rate the fit on a scale of one to ten how would you rate today's look I don't know man maybe an eight I feel a little casual I feel casual I disagree it's a ten for me buddy, <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. good to see you thank you before I let you go remind us of that Instagram again Dandy Wellington D-A-N-D-Y Wellington Let's do it. There you go. Hey guys, I'm John from Boston. Loving the fit. Like a pastel gangster you are, right? Eh? This is great. This is a dead stock 1937 suit from Paris. Wow. All right. Dyed the shirt to match my wife's outfit. Ooh. Gotta bring it. Love it. Where's the top hat from? The uh, hat is from uh, Germany, also in the 1920s. Okay, perfect. And then of course the shoes. The shoes are just modern uh, Allen Edmonds. Love it. So, since it's Easter, right? What new beginnings are you looking forward to? Looking forward to prosperity for my daughter, who's just started a new business, and uh, just supporting her. Love it. So, love the fit. Let's rate it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? This fit is a 10. I, I agree. Thank got, you so much. Got the much. socks to match the shirt, too. <laughs> love that. I know last time you didn't share your Instagram, share it with us this time. Knucklebuster39. Thank you so much. Right. Have a good day. Take care. My name's Erin Bradley and I'm from Boston. Second time running into you, right? Yes. I love the pastel look, yeah? So what's the inspiration behind today's outfit? 
Well, the hat. I got the hat and then I decided to get the suit to go with the hat. Ooh, okay. And then I added the flowers. It was just a plain hat. Okay, let's jump into it, yeah? So the hat you, you got and then you added the flowers. Yes, right? All right. yes. And you can see the top. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then the two piece? Yes, two piece. Where's vintage. From? It's from a vintage store in Boston called okay. Circa. And, and did then, you add this as well? And I added the flowers. Love it. have to add a little touch. Okay, and I thought the leopard would be cool contrast. I love it. And, and then, then my shoes. shoes. These crazy shoes with the, I, the rhinestones match the rhinestones on the suit. So. I love it. All right. So let's rate the fit on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a 10. Ooh <laughs> <laughs> and before I let you go, share that Instagram. It's um, Platinum Rebellion. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a day. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. I'm Fiona. I'm from Boston, but I live in Brooklyn. Tell us, what's the inspiration behind today's look? Yeah, so it's all based around Little Bo Peep. I got the bonnet, and then I just combined things in my wardrobe to match. I love it. So, how long was the planning process for this? Honestly, only about a week. No way. <laughs> yeah. I so you, have, you can't have just have all this stuff just laying around, did you? I had most of it. The boots are my mom's. We DIY'd this corset like last minute. I dyed it and added like the flowers and the little lace. Okay. Um, and then added some stuff to the bonnet. All right, so it. most of it's DIY, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you made this and then you added everything. Yeah, I added all the little flowers. And then flowers you said most of the pieces you already had, yeah? yeah? So cute. And where's the cane from? My dad. <laughs> what is that? We're beating off all, just beating off all the dogs, yeah? Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> and then the shoes, of course. Yeah, these are from my mom's closet. Don't know where they're from, but they're so cute. The all right, let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate today's look? It's definitely a 10. I totally agree. Thank you so much. I remind us one more time of that Instagram. Oh, yeah, it's Fiona.obradley. Thank you so much. Thank Happy you. Easter. Happy Easter. Italia. Love the outfit, yeah. Thank you. So number one, happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to Israel. And you pulled out the colors, right? For the Easter. Uh, I guess, yeah, they go well with the theme. They go well with the Easter. They do. The sunny Sunday. So let me ask you, what is your favorite part about this parade? Uh, well, first of all, we already acknowledge that the spring is here. People automatically become happier. Uh, look forward to summer and beautiful days outside. Overall, a good day, and yeah. it looks like you don't need an excuse for I a good don't. outfit, right? Mm, ever. <laughs> I'm assuming you work in fashion, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Love the outfit. So let's jump right into it. Where are the shades from? Hermes? Oh no, Tom, right? Okay, the overcoat. Is it Ralph? It close. is, okay. Close. close. Can disclose, but close. Okay. <laughs> what about the top? Well, it's a whole dress. Oh, okay. It's a sweater dress. Ralph Lauren fall. Ralph Lauren as well. And then the shoes. It's collection Ralph Lauren. What about the belt? It's a Ralph Lauren collection. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. The necklace, Van Cleef. <laughs> Let's rate the outfit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate today's look? Solid, solid eight. Okay, thank you. I'm so gonna much. be modest. <laughs> and before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Anna V underscore official. Thank you so much. You're Have welcome. a great day. It's very nice to meet you, Peter.